Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to talk about the radar, one of the most important tools in CSGO if you want to get better. I've done a ton of coaching videos and what I've seen a lot is you guys are not using your radar enough or you are maybe not using the right settings. A small example, you're holding B alone, it's a uh, free on free and you see r free red dots on long. At this point you should know there is free terrorist on long, but what I still see is people are holding B, they are slowly walking up towards B tunnels or to mid, and they are just wasting time while um, they should have the knowledge that there is free guys going to be long right, that they shouldn't have to be doing this. So your radar is extremely important, uh, I can tell you a lot more examples on why this is important but I will do that in another video in the near future I will release another one so subscribe to my channel if you want to see that um, I will uh, in this video I will talk about the settings I use and I truly believe they are one of the best I'm pretty sure you guys can make small adjustment to make it better for yourself but overall it's pretty good so in this video I will explain um, the commands I use what the different commands do and why I'm using them so yeah, let's get started with the explanation. So first of all, this is these are the radio settings that I use. I usually play in a smaller resolution, but I'm recording in a bigger one, so it might look a bit different. Uh, but uh, this is ba mainly what I use. So um, as you can see, it rotates with me, the radar. Um, you can see almost the entire map. It's pretty clear. The icons are really clear. So this these are simply... Uh, the perfect settings for me. I can see everything that's going on and it's just great. Okay, so now I will explain the different commands. So we will start with CL, HUD, Radar, Scale. And I put it, this on 1.2 or when I'm playing smaller resolutions on 1. And what this does is it uh, changes the um, size of your radar. So we can put it on 0 0.8. It will be super small. I really suggest you don't do this. And we can put it all the way up to 1.3 and it's quite big but on smaller resolutions it takes too much of the screen in my opinion so i put this on 1.2 a uh, small difference but it makes a big difference for me um if you want to find the perfect setting for you just make sure whenever you look at the radar everything is clear and everything is visible for you you know it's not too big but not too small the second command is CL, radar, always centered. And what this does is it centers around your character. So I have it on zero. I really suggest you put it on zero because I will show you what it does if you put it on one. Oops, I made a mistake there. There we go. So on one, um, it's you're now in the center. And as you can see, a lot of the screen um, is black. And you can't see half the map. Of course, that's not going to work. Uh, in a bit I will show you what this does with another command, but uh, you know, this looks wrong, right, in my opinion. You can only see what's really happening close to you, but you want to see everything that's going on on the map. So I would switch this to zero. The next command is CL Radar Rotate. And what this does is it rotates the radar with you. I put this on one. Uh, for a very good reason, but you can also put this on zero, but I will first explain to you guys what it does So as you can see it rotates with me and it's quite simple. I always explain this in this way So let's say I'm watching long and all of a sudden I see uh, an opponent showing up on my radar on P tunnels now I know because he's on the left of me on the radar that I have to look on the left You know on my screen as well. It's quite easy um, if I'm looking B tunnels here and there is an opponent going to show up on uh, T spawn, he's looking, he's showing on the right on my radar, so I know I have to look to the right on my radar. It's quite simple, and this is the way, the reason why I'm using it. If we put this on uh, zero, what it does is your radar is always pointed to the north, and this just doesn't work for me. You can uh, see where you're looking at but um i just don't feel it uh, i can play like this and i'm sometimes a bit when stuff really happens in a quickly for example we're doing a rush and they are rushing with us and it's you know there's a lot a lot going on i'm sometimes really lost on what's going on and i really suggest for you guys that that are on a lower rank that you switch this to one it's just for me the best setting so one and now everything is super clear you know um yeah that's basically it uh, another small thing for example you see uh, an opponent on b and when you're looking at b right now you can you know he's right in front of you so you already know yeah he's on b right 
um, if you see someone on, on A, because you're looking at B and he's showing up on your radar on A, you already know he's going to be on A because, you know, you will, you're gonna, you can point to him or you can just do this, you know, inside of your mind, but you know he's on A. So that's why I'm using one here. And now CL radar scale, and this is a, a problem I see a lot. Radar, CL radar scale, and I have this on 0 0.3. And a lot of people have this too big. So I will show you what it looks like when it's too big. You can only see half of the map. And honestly, you're not getting, you know, all the information you can get. So let's say you're on B. You're, uh, you want to push B. But your your teammates are uh, around long doing some stuff. Uh, you, you know, they will call like someone is on long or one on long or whatever. But you're never completely sure. You have to kind of know that... Um, is there one or two or three on long or what is really happening? How deep are my uh, teammates? Are they already on long or are they still in front of long? You know, there's a lot of vital information you can get if you see the entire radar. Um, when you switch this to 0 0.3, you can see everything. It's super clear and yeah, you know, you can just get all the information and um, in CSGO, information is vital. The more information you have about your opponents, the better you can do, the better you can read them, and the better your decision is in the end. So I would switch it to 0 0.3, and I would really not change this to anything else. CL, radar, icon, scale, min, and I have this on one, but a lot of you guys use this, use a lower setting, and I will see what this does. So w this is 0. 0 0.6 it makes the icon smaller so also if your opponent it just doesn't work for me so i put this really big and one is the biggest um, setting you can use so put this on one and you can see everything quite clear so now we have some smaller commands that are not really that important but they are uh, worth mentioning cl radar square with scoreboard and i have this on zero so when i go to my high score uh, my radar doesn't switch but when i put this on one it goes into a square and it doesn't rotate with it, me anymore uh, your radar is of course very um clear you can see everything but why switch this up if you are playing without the square and if you're playing with certain settings why switch it up i never understood this i see some people use it but i doubt they really know that they can switch this so i would uh, put this on zero okay and the next one is kind of a stupid one but it's still important it's cl hot bomb under radar and this should be at one always why i was uh, put it on zero you can see the radar here on the left put this on zero and the bomb is gone even though you're carrying it you're not dropping it it's just not showing up so switch this to one what happens a lot if you're rushing and your teammate dies you sometimes don't even know you're picking up the bomb or you know then it's really really important that you know you have the bomb obviously because you will make a different decision uh, when you're not carrying or when you're carrying the bomb so that's basically everything um like i said oh yeah we have one more i'm totally uh, dumbo we have so these are all the settings that i'm using i hope you guys learned a lot from this so yet again a small summary um what i prefer is uh, the map or the radar rotating with me because you know i know exactly where everything is I see that this won't work for everyone, but it works for me. Uh, I want to see as much as the map as possible on my radar, and I want to do it to be as clear as possible. So that's what I did, and that's how I use my radar. I look at my radar a ton, but I will explain this in another video. And I really should, I really, you really should use the radar a lot because it gives you fine information, and some people just don't look at the radar at all. It's really a mess and it's not good. So that's my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Feedback is welcome. Put it in the, in the comment box, of course. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.